Hello and welcome to the info video series of Made Easy. Well, when we talk about the target ESC 2017, well, definitely it's a major concern for every aspiring engineer. When we talk about paper one, which is all about general studies and engineering aptitude, the students are concerned what exactly are going to be the content of this paper, what has to be the focus areas and what has to be the strategy. Well, to answer all these questions today, we have with us Mr. Sunil Tiwari, who is a senior uh, faculty with Made Easy and a very strong expert with us. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, when we talk about this particular topic, that is the basics of material science and engineering, what do you think are the core, uh, you know, the key areas which really need to be focused in this particular topic? Actually, every engineer has to sometimes deal with the problems related with right. manufacturing Material. and designing. Uh, so for manufacturing of the equipment, we need various kind of materials. Right, we have lots of materials and we have to choose best material for a particular application. Material is a core of, uh, core of yeah. every design and manufacturing process. Right, so sir. for this purpose, choosing for the best material, we must know the properties of the material. Yes. So in this subject, we are going to cover the basic properties of the material so that we can see select the best material for our particular application. That is the basic idea behind the subject. The subject. So, Sir, uh, this, uh, this was the core idea. Now, I would like you to tell our students what is the exhaustive levels of preparation that is required for this particular topic and to identify what are the key areas which a student needs to focus in this particular topic. If we uh, talk about the key areas in the subject, then as uh, uh, I told you that uh, uh, we have to deal with the properties of the material. So properties of any material are greatly influenced by the atomic structure of material. So in this subject, we will begin with the atomic structure and the chemical bondings in the materials. We will discuss various type of bonding like ionic bond, covalent bond, metallic bond, van der Waal forces, dispersion bonding, hydrogen bonding. And because of these bonding, the nature of the uh, 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 compounds uh, which will be formed these bonding. Like uh, if we have a compound with the ionic bond, then that compound will be hard and brittle in the nature. That will be non-conductive of electricity. So the properties uh, because of the bonding and the types of bonding will be discussed uh, uh, under the chemical bonding heading. Then the second part we will discuss that is the crystal structure of the material that is popularly known as crystallography. Because majority of the materials which are used in engineering are, crystal, are crystalline in nature. So in crystal uh, crystallography, we will discuss structure of the material, uh, whether it is a cubic crystal or it is hexagonal crystal. If it is cubic crystal, whether it is body centered cubic crystal or it is simple uh, cubic crystal or it is face centered cubic crystal. And depending upon the packaging of the crystal, uh, what is the properties of the crystal so that we can improve improve a material, whether we can improve the properties of the material or we can degrade the properties of material as per our requirement. Suppose by studying the crystal structure and defects in the material, uh, we are taking the example of semiconductor material. In a semiconductor material, if we introduce a impurity of the pentavalent that, and then the conductivity of the material improves. But it is not always the case that the impurity uh, will enhance the property. Sometimes impurity priorities will degrade the properties of the material. So these all things will be discussed under the heading of the crystallography. Uh, after studying this basic chemical bonding and crystallography, we will move to the next section that is the electrical and electronic materials, which are basically used in the electrical and electronic is, uh, industries. Here first we will discuss the basic principles like Ohm's law and the basic uh, uh, definitions uh, like uh, conductivity of the material, resistivity of the material, thermal conductivity of the material, then the relation between the con uh, electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity that is Weidmann, Franz law. These will be covered under this heading. After covering these basic definitions, uh, uh, we will cover the energy band description of the uh, uh, materials and depending upon the energy band description, the material will be broadly classified as metals, insulators, uh, or dielectrics, uh, and also semiconductors. 
um, in each category, like in semiconductors, we will study some of the important semiconductor materials which are used today in industry, uh, like silicon uh, is more popularly used and some of the other material like for making uh, LED, we are using some direct band, uh, uh, direct band semiconductor materials like gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, these kind of materials we will discuss under the heading of semiconductor materials. Under the heading of dielectrics uh, and that are also known as insulators we will discuss some uh, materials uh, which are electrically isolating uh, uh, the two components so these are uh, like our alumina that is a, a dialectic material are uh, uh, different uh, uh, there are lots of dielectric materials uh, which we will cover uh, and their properties of the material which are industrially important and application of these all dielectric materials like porcelain alumina stratite etc then we will move on to the conductive materials. Conductive materials uh, uh, on the higher end will be studied uh, superconductor materials. Superconductor are the, those materials uh, which have zero resistivity below the certain temperature. These materials are nowadays very important. They can be used in multitude of applications like in magnetic levitation, in bullet tens, uh, or in several other operations like in nuclear reactors. So we will study the superconductors and conductive uh, other conductive materials uh, uh, like uh, copper, uh, copper or like aluminium from electrical point of view so this is the broad classification under the heading of electrical and electronics material after studying this we will move to the magnetic properties of the material we use various kind of magnets in our industry like magnets are used in machines uh, magnets are used in several applications for uh, magnets are used in nuclear uh, uh, power reactors uh, so everywhere we need some kind of magnets for that we need to study the magnetic properties of materials here we will classify various kind of magnetic materials like ferromagnetic material, paramagnetic material, ferrimagnetic material and we will study the each type of material uh, broadly their applications, their uses in the industry and uh, some important materials uh, which are popularly used and the phenomena related with some basic principles uh, like Curie law, Curie B's law or Mean's uh, law will be studied because these will provide an insight uh, uh, about the operating temperature or operating conditions of the magnetic materials. Also we will study soft magnetic materials or hard magnetic materials. Some hard magnetic materials are generally used for the permanent uh, uh, making of the permanent magnet. Apart from we will also uh, study the use of the magnetic materials in magnetic memory. Magnetic memories nowadays use in uh, our uh, cards, credit cards or debit cards to store the information. So all these things will be discussed under the heading of the magnetic properties of the materials. Then we will move on to the mechanical properties of the material. Under the heading of mechanical properties of material, we will discuss various mechanical properties like hardness, brittleness, uh, um, then um, resilience, uh, elasticity, plasticity, all these things we will uh, discuss under the heading of mechanical properties of material. Also, the performance of the ma uh, material under certain mechanical loading con uh, 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 conditions, creep, fatigue, etc., stress, strain, uh, characteristic of various materials we are going to discuss. Then we will, under the heading of mechanical properties of material, we will discuss ferrous me uh, metals uh, and alloys, then non-ferrous metals and alloys. So, broadly and briefly, we will uh, uh, cover all the mechanical materials. After studying mechanical materials, we have now covered the semiconductor metals and insulators. Then again, we will cover a different uh, uh, a material which cannot be categorized in this. That is the combination of all these. That is ceramic material. Ceramic materials are neither conductor, neither uh, uh, semiconductors. They are inorganic materials and uh, uh, middle, uh, uh, a class of the materials different from this classification depending upon the energy background. Like air L203 that is a dielectric material but that is a, a ceramic material also. Ceramic materials has a very wide application in uh, electronics and electrical industry. So we will study the basic structure of the semi, uh, uh, ceramic materials like there are the certain criteria uh, uh, in the cation and anion ratio of the ceramic materials uh, and uh, related with the um, um, charge uh, neutrality principle 
then we will study the silicate structure of the ceramic materials and some basic silicate uh, uh, structure uh, so like cesium chloride structure or some uh, uh, structure like silica structure or silicate chains of the ceramic material this we are going to cover under the structure of the ceramic material then we will study the mechanical properties of the ceramic materials thermal properties of the ceramic materials their behavior under the various temperature conditions uh, uh, up to which temperature which material can be utilized uh, so that we can operate the material in different adverse conditions and then electrical properties of the materials uh, basically when we will study the electrical properties of material few important material are porcelain stratite and uh, alumina uh, these can be also categorized in another way some materials which has uh, the relative dielectric constant greater than 12 and some materials which have the relative dielectric constant less than 12 they have different applications depending upon the cost and usability we can decide now what uh, uh, material should be used in which application after studying ceramic materials we will move on to the plastics or polymers plastics are nowadays used in various engineering applications suppose you have a copper conductor this conductor cannot be used in its normal form because uh, if we are using only copper wire then this can give a shock to the user so to avoid this shock we generally use a covering on the copper conductor and that covering is basically of the polymers uh, normally uh, uh, you know the, we use uh, polyvinyl chlor uh, chloride pvc and there are certain other polymers like thermosetting polymers uh, or thermostatic polymers. So these we are going to discuss under the heading of polymers, their mechanical properties, their electrical properties and their thermal behavior under various conditions of the temperature. Then we will study the composites. Composites are the form of uh, uh, two types of materials uh, when mixed to improve the quality of the material. Like we are taking a ceramic material and we are taking a metal and we are making a cermet. So cermet has some better qualities of the ceramic material and some better qualities of the uh, metallic materials, metals. So these qualities are combined to make a new material that is cermet and cermet is a composite material. So in composite material, we will study broadly particle composite material and fiber reinforced the composite, uh, composite material and their industrial applications. After studying composite, uh, composite materials, we will move on to the some uh, future generation materials like smart materials or nano materials. In nano materials, we will study one of the important allotrop of carbon that is graphene and uh, another is fullerene. Uh, so this will uh, um, uh, allow us to study future material like carbon nanotube which can be used uh, in multitude of applications in nanotechnology. Apart from this, we will study some materials uh, which has important applications in defense. Dep as we know that in defense, we need certain uh, uh, very specific criteria. We have to operate our equipment in adverse conditions. So normal material cannot be beneficial in that adverse uh, conditions or that uh, cannot give that much of accuracy which is required in defense area. So for this purpose, we will study some defense related materials also. So this is the overall coverage uh, which we are going to discuss in material science. Right, so I mean, I mean, it, I mean sure it, it is one of the very exhaustive list that you've talked about. Now this exhaustive list, it has to be in terms of uh, the theoretical aspect of it or it has to be, uh, you know, uh, the, the nature of the subject is very theoretical one. Right. And because of being very theoretical, it is one of the very scoring topics. If you have studied the topic, then you can score even 100% uh, right. uh, in the subject. It is not going to be very time consuming in the paper. It will, it will save your time in the paper and going to be very scoring one. So very, I'm sure it has got a good scoring capability yes, and it is definitely. definitely going to add a big advantage and it to it is very uh, friendly to the engineers. Right. From right. 10, uh, 12th onwards, we are studying material, various properties of the material. Right. So thank you so much. I'm sure that our students will definitely uh, benefit from the various uh, insights. In fact, the in-depth insights given by sir. And if you work very strongly, it was this particular topic, it can act as a very strong score booster for everybody. So till then, we all from Made Easy team will wish you like to will, would like to wish you all the best. Thank you and God bless you. For more details, visit www.madeeasy.in.